Which me? Well, I didn't know if it would work. But it did. Steve. Huh? Steve. Huh? Look where we are. Yeah. Hey, look. Look at that calendar. July 3rd. I told you it was out of sync, Hannes. We had it set for the 4th. Oh. Gee. I never know I'd see the old bicycle shop again. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Zodich. Yes, I, uh, I just wanted to say that I thought your father was wonderful, Miss Grubauer, wonderful. A man to be admired, respected. It, uh... I'm the one who has to carry the guilt around. It's me who's the guilty one. No, I'm not going to mope around the house anymore. I'm going to be very pleasant, and, and you're going to hear me laughing more. It's just no gonna, good, I'm, Rosie. I'm, you said have... that before. No, I can't go on living with this dirty guilt. Have... It's eating me up. Don't look. Don't watch. <laughs> Goodbye. Rosie Krieger. Look, I think I should be going. Sit down, Benjamin. Mrs. Robinson, if you don't mind my saying so, this conversation is getting a little strange. Now, I'm sure that Mr. Robinson will be here any minute now. No. What? My husband will be back quite late. He should be gone for several hours. Oh, my God. Pardon. Office? That's so. Then why is he carrying a gun? He's looking for Madigan's million dollars. Oh, we're back to that again, huh? Whether you believe it or not, we are going to find it. Yeah, by pulling guns on policemen in the streets? Oh, I can explain that. I thought you were a gangster trying to kidnap that girl. I just couldn't stand there and let you do that, could I? <laughs> yes. Bag it's in this town. Oh, kiss it, Ratso. Up yours. You gotta watch out for that. Hey, you really know the ropes. Damn, I wish I bumped into you before, huh? I'm Joe Buck from Texas. Enrico Rizzo, from the Bronx. And I'm going to buy you a drink. What the hell do you think of that? Oh, I don't mind if I do. Well, Dennis... Is that what you do mostly? People uh, take me uh, places when they, they feel I need educating. You seem very uh, intelligent. <laughs> well, I'm educated. <laughs> Last week, I went to participate in theater. I'm sorry. You mean you're blind? Oh, no. My eyes still see. But my heart no longer receives it. How did it happen? White man. I'm not leaving him here with my wife. I thought you said he was helpless. Yeah! You wouldn't leave him alone with your wife or your kid if you had one. Oh, that's different, huh? Look, look, fella, he's staying here with me until the doctor and the police arrive. He's my responsibility. Your responsibility? That's right. My marbles, Doc, they are spilling. They are rolling out onto the floor and behind the refrigerator, but you can't get at them anymore. Very well, Mr. Sadoway. Can you be here immediately? Beauty, baby. I'm buying you Vienna for your birthday. No more of the scene. No more of the scene. Alfredo, there's a letter for you. Oh, thanks, Papa. This was the third letter my father gave me within 48 hours. He never asked me anything, but I could tell he was excited. He sensed I was involved in something big for the very first time. I am thy God. Bags of coconuts tied together. Just throw them over. Float out on a wave. Then what happened? The mainland's only 24 miles. You just drift with the current. Only two days. You're certain? Don't be shy. You can raise your hands. Well, that's cool. Now, let's get really honest. You, sir, have you ever had your blah blonde? <laughs> hmm? no, I don't, it's either yes or no. There's no two ways about it. Okay. How many men in this room have ever had their blah blah? Nixon's guaranteed the renomination. The post is stuck with a story no one else wants. It'll sink the goddamn paper. Everyone says, get off it, Ben. And I come on very sage and I say, uh, well, you'll see. You wait till this bottoms out. But the truth is, I can't figure out what we've got. What else are you working on? What well, we're after, a list of creep employees. Where is it? Now, which of these I next apply? That decision is in your hands. So, take your time. <laughs> Tell me. Is it safe? Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> okay. 
in the neighborhood, so I had your manager let me in. Mind if I come in? Yeah, <laughs> come on, it's your home. I mean, this is just routine, you know. Yeah, you know, it's a nice room. You know, it's got cross ventilation, nice view. Yeah, it's nice. What they uh, charge you for? It's uh, seventeen dollars a week. Well, that's better than seven. Huh? Ted, I'm asking you. You're an extremely bright guy. You really are. You got a hell of a talent. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna land on your feet. You're gonna survive. Teddy, look. I know you may be a little short of cash right now. No big hurry about paying this back. Shame. Deeply, 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 deeply loved by her brother. Her brother. It was this brother who on the day of her death swore to the good Lord above that he would follow in her footsteps and 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 just 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 don't 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 panic. Oh it's don't be so modest, you always started too low. Walking with a big laugh. Don't look worried. Start off with a couple of your good stories to lighten things up. It's not what you say. How you say it? Because personality always wins the day. Oliver always thought the highest. Will you let me talk? Dad, stop yelling at oh, me. I, I, I was talking, wasn't I? Very flattered, but I'm 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 straight. I'm not proud of it, and I'm not not ashamed of it. I mean, I uh, I respect your way of life, but it, it just isn't mine. Now that doesn't mean that mine is any better or any worse. Look at what you have. I am. Uh, 46 total. What change? Frank, how many 250s are you? Um, 250. Pretty close. Come on, let's go, Ray. 246. There's four left in the box. You know, Christine, there must be hundreds of people out there buying up insiders' rights and then selling them on the open market. I mean, uh, you must be pretty good at it. How do you compete there? Huh? Well, you gotta have a gimmick. Yeah? You do? <laughs> <laughs> Big boy did it. Big boy did it. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's take this and plan for big boy. Oh, wait. Uh, oil slicks. Yeah, that's it. What's your name again? Every man. Every man. Do you ever see an oil slick? Oh, well, just on TV. Yeah, but not personally. No. Every man. Yeah. You know a lot of people. Well, yes, I do. Have you ever spoken to anybody that's seen an oil slick? No. Must be a lot of ocean that doesn't have oil slicks. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So what's the problem? I don't know. Well, it's polluted, you know? Worst case scenario. All right. Let's say the oil slicks over every ocean in the world. Is it you? My great and worthy opponent? What is can't be? Not this pitiful, spineless, pasty, bloated codfish I see before me. You're not even a shadow of Peter Pan. We do happen to go to trial. This doesn't go to trial. I know we're not going to trial. I, I just... A capable boy. Arthur. Arthur, look. Just look. Can you give me an answer on this? You want an answer? I'll give you an answer. How come you're the recycling center? It gives me a little bit of a gas and food. Looks like you're living here for Christ's sake. Well, I do in bad weather, but mostly I like camping in the woods. I thought you were down on your luck too when I picked you up. Down on my luck. Yeah. Hey, I told you, a goddamn plane fell on me from out of the sky in America, for Christ's sake. Uh, sorry. Yes, and I'm George from Sioux City, South Dakota. Back of the line, Colonel. We got a terrible epidemic. We're from Cedar Creek, George. We're from Cedar Creek, California. Cedar Creek, site of the viral infection. George, you heard about this virus. Need we say more? OK, we need all the bills of lading from ships arriving from Africa in the last three months. George. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shall I cough on you, George? Uh, no. A mistake and say the wrong thing and, you know, uh, 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 make a wrong turn somewhere, and you don't want to take that risk. Life is risk. I'm sorry. Life is risk. 
life as a risk. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I haven't been in here before. 1929, S. Lincoln had Penny with the wheat on the back is where. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We gotta know what condition we're talking about. Okay, what condition? Any of them. You tell me. Well, pick one. Okay. I'm gonna pick an easy one. Excellent condition. 1929S. It's worth... A spit and polish! Look at that! That is a complete fucking fraud, and it looks 100% real! It's the best work I've ever done in my life. Because it's so honest. That everyone is okay in here, you'll buy yourself some time. No, I'll tell them that... I'll tell them that they better back off because I, I will shoot someone and then the first one is going to be you. I might throw your body just out the front door. Well, I wouldn't do that. Well, why not? Well, that'll just make everybody jumpy out there. They might do something that we'll all regret. I don't know where we are. I don't know where we're stuck in. Where we are. It's not going to be illusion that we can change the future. It's a dead end, huh? Just like I said all along. Maybe he's right, Norman. Maybe he's right. I'm not gonna die here. Beth's not gonna die here. And you're not gonna die here. Let's just leave. It's much more simple. After a few months, it gets more interesting. Then after a year, it finally becomes romantic. Maybe we're missing an opportunity here. I mean, there's work to be done. Maybe the best thing for us at this point is just to, it's my partner's, my ex-partner's desk. You know, just dive right in. We had a plan. Why not stick with it? What else are we gonna do? Sit around? We'll go crazy. Stan Michaels, the shrink, did you? In the matter of Celeste Wood versus Vicksburg Firearms, the jury finds for the plaintiff, Celeste Wood, they award special damages in the amount of $1 million and general damages in the amount of $110 million. Hi, girl. Hi. So, uh, tell me, you two together? We're sisters. Wow. I like sisters. Jake, I can't quite see. So why don't you just move a little bit so I can check them out, then you can check them out. Thanks. Sisters, huh? Mm-hmm. And you're over 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for taking on my case. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hold on. He hasn't signed a contract. Well, listen, we'll get to the contract. No, no, it's too much too well, soon. It's always too much too soon. That's the nature of the No, place. no, approach patience Will finesse. You stop? Come on. We need to start with his specifics, we need Bernard. To go logic, though. Come on, let's go. Give me okay. a kiss. Come on. Be. Official. Oh, hi, neighbors. Hello. Hello. Focus, honey. Hello, fancy schmancy. Welcome wow. to the chateau. Oh, no wonder they don't want to sleep in our shit box. Look at this place. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't think the dog is such a good idea. Don't worry, Moses is more of a lover than a fighter. Oh, oh. Apologies, huh? We'll get them with the next one, Charles, I promise. Of course we will, James. I know you put a lot into this one. A fortune, James, but I'm fortunate because I can afford to lose a fortune. Can you? No, I can't. No, I can't. Arthur. James. We saw we missed at the last club meeting. Jose. We were beginning to wonder which is your hobby. Open door policy is the sign of a great host. Solansky. Come in. Welcome. Should I call you Federico, Mr. Feove, or Fico? Depends on whether you shake my hand or not. Call me Fico. You call me Maya, or my friends do. I can go up. Mmm. But, um, two notes. And you've got a villain. I don't know what to say about it. Totally brill. Uh oh. Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? I bet you didn't know. That was all written for the movie. It was a score, technically. I didn't know that one. You can't go anywhere. Oh, my God.
This is a Warren psyche. But it's not a good perfume, Master. So? You know it's a woman's voice. The story involves your death. It's modern. It's in English, and I'm assuming the author has a cursory knowledge of the city. Sure. Okay, good. Question one. When King Lear dies in Act Five, do you know what Shakespeare has written? He's written, he dies. That's all, nothing more. No fanfare, no metaphor, no brilliant final words. The culmination of the most influential work of dramatic literature is... We don't know anything about each other. <laughs> you're, you know... Old. No, I wasn't going to say that. Well, OK, you're a bit older. I'm... I can be mean. So can I. No. What are you doing here? Uh, the guy has issues, honey. But Bernard, I swear this isn't oh. what it looks like. Oh. Y y your wife was comforting me in a moment of distress, and my soul just reached out to her. Your soul or your tongue? No, there's no tongue involved. There was a little. Thank you for your honesty. I thought you were in Spain, honey. What, what happened? What happened? What? Holy. You cheated? No. She did? No. So what happened? I'm in love with someone else. Who? You don't know her. No. I agree. For Christ's sakes, the kid probably sings better than half of this school. He has neither the desire nor the discipline for this school, and he doesn't know when or where to breathe. Well, his technique needs work, but that's to be expected. There are other considerations as well. Starting... Carl, we're staying with the same menu, right? Yeah, I have something really good planned for tonight. I'm gonna let you say it's not sweetbreads. Yeah, You're that, gonna be able to taste it, it. That may be true, but we have the most reservations we've had on a work night since we opened. You realize that? I know. I was on Twitter. I was, yeah. I was, I was promoting the restaurant. I was what? on Twitter. Yeah, that's another thing. From now on, before you post anything online, I okay it. All right? <laughs> of what I do is making judgment of risk in situations where the odds are essentially complex. <clears throat> Back in 2000, I get a visit from the owners of the U.S. Postal Cycling Team. You may want to write this down. You could have waltzed me off my feet. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not a dancer. Nonsense. There's no such thing as not a dancer. Just a person who's never found the right girl to dance with. You're American, for heaven's sake. The land that brought us Fred Astaire and John Travolta and that naughty little Justin Timber. Bruno! Bruno, down! Whose dog Bruno. is this? Maureen and I bought him from a very elegant Africa poodle farm near the country house. <laughs> Dad, the outer door was left open and someone Maureen. pressed the button in on the foyer door. Maureen is always doing something. Maureen! I'm telling you, Maureen. you gotta be more careful. Bruno, Maureen! This house isn't very big, but she never seems to be able to hear me. Maureen! This is a game. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm Dr. Green, and I'm here to help you remember. But you see, but you've been through a lot. Well, he's got to try it. I can try it. Yeah. Let me take Dad, this. Dad, I think you should use the wheelchair. He can try the walker. I can try it. Ma, he's very weak. I yes. Do. It's okay. I'm okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's try the walk. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, hello there. Technically, we are not in the church parking lot pickup spot. Go with the floor. You have a big old frying pan that you don't use it, and a couple of beers. Let's see if you get the car running first. You're tough. <laughs> <laughs>